Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Ooh, lost my voice there. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another episode of Captain of Industry coming at you. Uh, at this very moment, I'm actually just going to wait a little bit until we stock up a bit on materials. Materials specifically for us to engage in the next research thing. Power generation level 4. Um, it doesn't actually say too much more. Oh, 2 mega... Oh... Never mind. Whoa. Okay. I'm sure you boys are going to be very expensive. Oops. Um, that'll give me a really good opportunity to redo literally everything I've got. Which I'm actually fairly looking forward to. How are we doing on coal in general? Uh, keep full all the time? I guess? No, I mean, that that works. Uh, let's see, iron is... Yep, I don't really know how to fix that. What are you guys missing? Some trucks? Have some trucks. And just sprinkle trucks everywhere. How are our three maintenance bays doing? Working, working, working. Cool. Uh, we can afford another 10 trucks, maybe? Where are you going? Where are you guys stopping? What's what's with the stopping? Keep trying to click on this damn truck for no reason. Waste. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Uh, hmm. What do we use all this extra land for now? Water collection, maybe? That seems like a bit of a cop-out to use new land on. Oh, nope. Uh, flat. Just, uh, whatever gets us to two. Feels like that gets us to two. Can I turn meat into iron? <laughs> Um, is there anything else that can give me iron scrap? Other than recycling. Uh, nope. Just recycling. Nuts. And I'm sure the same is going to be for copper scrap. Yep. Nope. Nuts. Okay. Wow, we're actually working through all that impure copper. That's insane. It's so weird because there's, there's these... Moments of elation, I'm just going to call it, that really feel like, oh my gosh, we have so much stuff. We have ridiculous amounts of materials. This is all crazy. How are we going to manage all this extra copper or extra iron or whatever? And then what inevitably happens is something. And then what also inevitably happens is it changes the paradigm of everything we were just doing. So it's like, it feels like, hey, we got so much stuff. And then it's like, we don't have so much stuff. We we really don't. We're, we're low on stuff. If anything, we're in a depression. <laughs> we're in a depression economy and not a surplus economy. And that's something to consider. And then it just, it just feels super weird about it. We do have another massive pile of iron we can get to whenever we're ready to begin those mining operations. Uh, why am I doing it like this? There we go. There we are. Just clean that all up for me, would you? Thanks. Um, this actually works as a good placement for the recycling center. I didn't really consider because what this really means is it's the difference between the distance to copper and iron and steel. Like, it was actually a really good spot. I didn't think it was initially, but not bad. Not bad. And of course, I sit down, do some recording, and all I have all three cats right here. Where's my Where's my scritches? Where's my pets? I thought we were gonna play, and it's like they don't remember. 10, 15 minutes ago, I was with them. We gave them scritches. 
We did a little laser pointer action. I take care of my pets. I take care of my pets. Damn it. Um, I can't crush scrap into pellets, can I? Crusher. No. Yeah, I wonder how much of this junk is gravel or rock or whatever. Uh, oh, it won't say. Okay. Here was hoping it would let us know, so it'd be like, do I dig in there to get sand? Just crush it up real good, sand it up, right? No? Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright. Uh, iron is still an issue. Yep, there's kind of nothing I feel like I can do about that. We have some other mining designations. Is there any more iron over here that's worth getting? Uh, not really. And we should clean this up, because this is starting to be a little annoying. Nuke the whole grid, start over. There's some right there. How far can we go? This goes a little further. There's that. And there's also about that. About that. About that. And then, where's our retaining wall? Right. And that's our elevator escalator thingaminator. Start with that. Now let's get this grid set up appropriately, yeah? Uh, something like Adias? That'll do. Okay, work with that, please. I know we have some other mining designations that are outside the thing. Let's just do boop. Cool, happy, happy, great. Boop, I can go away. Uh, this garbage is full up, as one might expect. I think I'm a pretty good garbage architect, actually, in all terms of whatever. Uh, I think we're doing a pretty good job figuring out the ramps and dumping stuff. Like, I've, I've seen a dump before. I've dumpster dove before. I'm not too proud or whatever to say that. Like, I got a leather trench coat out of the garbage. I'm not too proud to be like, uh, uh, filth, uh, uh, we don't bother ourselves with filth. No. Uh, I will do it. It is fine. If someone else is not going to use it, I will use it. Not like it's like, hey, honey, it's Tuesday. You want to go dive in the trash? It's not like that. <laughs> it's just like, I've had to have, uh, well, it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, I think I've got a good idea of how a dump is architected. We just keep going up and up. And then what we'll do is we'll build the space shuttle on it. I think we get a space rocket or something. We'll just put that right on top. Right up there. That's where that that's where that lives now. That's where that belongs forever and ever. Water is full or empty or whatever the answer of that is. Um what I really ought to do is I ought to put buffers before stuff. Maybe that would help me better understand how much water is here. So, like, a buffer here would be cool as well. Uh, but I'm still standing by what I said. Both of these systems running will feed one of these systems. And this produces how much fresh? 12 fresh every 10. This needs 8 fresh every 10. So, actually, we're still, we're still doing well. Yeah, no worries about it. No worries about it. This can actually be unpaused, just as safety. I'm not going to turn more distillers online, but just as safety. No designations, let me guess, coal. Ah! The dreaded, the dreaded fear of running out of coal. How much coal do we have? We have a... G crap. We have a lot. Guess where it is? Crap. Garbage mountain. <laughs> Uh, this is the literal definition of load gun, aim it face, unload gun. This is exactly, this is a, a, a textbook, a textbook representation. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to need limestone forever. Guess what all this is? Limestone. 
Not gonna need it. It's fine. Don't we- hey. That's a tomorrow Johnny problem. Not a today Johnny problem, okay? Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Just like maybe like someone who drinks too much might act just like, Yeah, I'm gonna order this 3D printer. I can't afford it. That eh, sounds like a tomorrow problem. Don't worry about it. Like... <laughs> Almost sounds like uh, I had to total my truck so I could get the insurance money to make the payments on the truck. Kind of a problem. Uh, I don't have a truck. I don't like trucks. <laughs> but still. It seems like that kind of an issue. Uh, yeah, I had to sell the thing so I could make the payments on the thing. Kind of a thing. Alright, there's that. Uh, we still have a little bit of coal right here we could actually tip-tap into. Outside of mining designation, that's fine. Where are you going? You're going to come all the way to this mine control tower, check the schedule, and then do job. And so, oh, and all the trucks are all... Oh, hey, busy. Busy, busy, all the time. Busy, busy, all the time. Busy, busy, feeling fine. How much coal do we have on the rest of this? Yeah, there's not much. Just the ramp, really? Of, uh, whatever. Wouldn't mind to set up some dumping for that ramp as well. Uh, cement is an issue because I up... So, cement is only really an issue now. Or, concrete slabs. Concrete slabs are only really an issue now because I upgraded all the manufacture. That's kind of why this is so much of an issue. Uh, let's pause four of you. Like, we doubled our productivity by upgrading them. So it's as if we had not tw not uh, five, not ten, but twenty. There we go. I can math. I can math so good. You have no idea how much I can math. Oh, and our iron is back into good. Power generation level four. Oh my god. <laughs> Another absolute game changer, I think. Uh, wastewater treatment gets us the filter media. Which I don't know if I want to handle right now. Okay. Quick work message. Uh, Cargo Depot level 3. Uh, excellent. Mega vehicles sound awesome, but I don't have circuit. You know what? This is what I don't get. Circuits are all the way back here. I can't do a doggone about it without... Oh, wow. That's a lot of maintenance, though. Yeah, and then the circuits are down here. Plastic, glass, copper, PCB. Oh, that makes a PCB. Oh, gosh. That's a whole nother kettle of go get stuffed. Uh, which we'll get to eventually. Um, is there anything else that would really help my right now? Vacuum distillation? It would be neat. Uh, hydrogen production, I think, would really help. That'll help us use that fuel gas. So I'll stop turning fuel gas into diesel. I think that would also generate a lot less carbon dioxide. Which would then, in turn, really help with my fertilization efforts. Heavy oil cracking? Hydrogen, diesel, yeah, that sounds cool. I've been using it just as a chump fuel source. Okay. Um, we have a uranium mine. Uh, nuclear energy. Uh, I don't have... Nuclear energy? Uh, get out of here. Utilizes a large set of centrifuges to concentrate uranium-235 isotope out of natural uranium, a process called isotope special separation. That was hard to read. Why was it hard to read? The resulting product is fizzle uranium pellets. Fizzile? Fizzle? Fizzle doesn't sound right. Sounds like Ms. Frizzle from Magic School Bus, but whatever. Ready to undergo a chain reaction in a nuclear reactor. The pellets are not radioactive yet and can be handled manually. Oh, that's reassuring. Okay, so. It's a crusher. 
We get Uranium Ore, we get Uranium Ore Crushed. Uranium Ore Crushed plus Acid equals Yellow Cake. Uh, Yellow Cake plus Hydrogen Fluoride equals... I think my cats are chasing a fly or something, because like every 20 minutes or something, there's just a ton of thumping behind me. And then it's just weird. Anyway, that makes Uranium Pellets. Uranium Pellets plus Steel equals Uranium Rods. And then, what? Nuclear reactor means water, uranium rods, steam. Wow, okay. Yep, that is a lot of steam. I'm not willing to go down that route yet. That's a lot of a jump. We'll get there, for sure, but not, not, not yet. I want hydrogen production, heavy oil cracking, chemical plant, silicon. Uh, silicon probably used for... Electronics, yep. Statue of Maintenance, Computing, Construction Level 4. Ah, oh, crap, there's another level? I want the electric boiler for sure. Oh, and solar panels. Probably silicon, steel, glass, solar cell. Clean panels. A demanding cleaning procedure for solar panels increase their power output by 5%. Yep, fine. Solar panel. Love it. Okay. It's, it, considering how infrequent rain is, I think this will be okay. There we go. All right. Uh, locked because I didn't do silicon. Yep. Electronics and maintenance. Yep. Electric boiler. Yep. Solar panels. Yep. I think in that order is going to be all right. Uh, we have a lot to deal with. We have a new power system. And that is exciting as F. Uh, let's do a little trading. So considering wood is infinite, I can turn it into iron and concrete without an issue, which is reassuring. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous because this is going to be another thing that messes with our spine all over again. Um, it's no different than messing with the power with any game. Give it an RTS or something like Factorio or this or like anything that has demand. Without power, we fail. Uh, farms don't need power? They don't need power, so that's cool. Um, still, that could be dangerous on the quick fast. So, let's take a look at this. And I need to mess with it properly. Oh my word. Okay. Okay. High pressure turbine. How does this start? Let's start with the beginning. I think we start with a high pressure turbine. Oh, we can just upgrade these. Oh, crap. Okay. You need 8 every 10, which is how much this needs. Oh, 4 every 10. Okay, so we're consolidating down. Um, 8 every 10 makes 2 megawatts. This is 4 every 10. It makes 1 megawatt. So that's no different. Makes 2 megawatts. Uh, yeah, it just doubles up to make it a little easier. It also requires the same amount of workforce, so two high pressures or a high pressure two. Uh, maybe I'm not catching something, but this feels like exactly the same. Three megawatts. Two megawatts. Mechanical, 3 megawatts mechanical. How does that work? Uh, the high pressure turbine was a 1 megawatt to a 50... K oh, right, right. We just built multiple. Um, so I need... This. A power... J yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, do we daisy chain it together? Do we have a power, like a how-to power kind of a thing? That would be cool. Uh, no. Just read all these. Great. We haven't gotten any new tutorials in a while, which is fine. That's not like a complaint. I keep hitting tab. Damn it. 
Um, is there a recommendation how we should daisy chain these? Because I'm going to assume that's the case. Um, it'll be, what, three high-pressure turbines to two power generators. Uh, we have enough to give it a try. What's the thing I really need? Water? High-power steam. Cats are just going crazy. If you're not hearing it, it means the noise gate was successful. Excellent. Um, yeah, I don't really get the benefit here. Um, oh, less maintenance. That's what that icon means. It's 50% less ma- no, it'd be 25% less maintenance. Okay, steam high. So let's talk about our boilers. If you heard that, work is calling again. And I'm just going to put you on silent. You can wait. I've answered your calls over the last three episodes, and it's not even a work day. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, I need a boiler. If only I could do something about this. Oh, we could actually... <laughs> burn hydrogen as a fuel source, which is not really what I'm aiming for. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Hmm. Uh, the only real issue is going to be any amount of fuel. Oh, which we can use fuel gas, can't we? We can. Awesome. Okay. I think I want to stop turning you into diesel. And the cats are... You alright? <laughs> I think one of them... One of them banged his head into the wall and is now... Sad. <laughs> um... I think we're actually good on diesel to pull this process back. I want naphtha and fuel gas. Straight up. And this is turning fuel gas into diesel, burning carbon, which is fine, but it's not really what I want, I don't think. Here's what we're going to do. We're just going to start peeling this process. Oop, I just hit the wrong button there. We're going to start peeling this process apart. And yep, that thumping you just heard was Zen Lee looking outside because someone started their car. If anyone says, like, don't get a dog, they're very excitable. They also don't know pets in general, because this cat, specifically Zen Lee, is an energy powerhouse. He's ridiculous. It And there, there he goes. They're just scampers as pampers. Okay. What I have here is fuel gas. What I would like to do is I'd like to double down this fuel gas as an idea. We have water coming in. That's helping this boiler. This boiler is obviously using light fuel as a source of as a source of fuel, right? Um, this can go away. This is no longer feeding into anything. It's no longer being fed into anything. Poof. And that very excitable individual outside is very much revving their vehicle still, so I apologize if you're hearing that. Alright. Um, let's see here. We're gonna does up some diesel for sure. Diesel isn't something that's ever going to change. Meaning I'm always going to need diesel no matter what. Gas fuel is going to be happy and healthy and helpful for some other processes. But as it stands right now... Um, yeah, quick deliver. Quick deliver. 
And quick deliver. Let's get this tapped out. Let's get this cleaned up and tapped out. What is this? Notify if under 50%. That can shut off. This one can be all these. Actually, it's going to be diesel in a second. The second it gets built. Yep, there we go. Uh, no imports. Export, yes. Notify if less than 50%. Awesome, thanks. Uh, this can get scrap. I wish I could just scrap it by clicking on the thing, but that's okay. That goes away. All this is going to get pumped out. That goes away. Very much increased our capacity, which is great and exactly what I wanted. Upgrade. This can go away. Considering I can't use my own ship, this is actually working out pretty well. It's funny how it's it's flashing. Can we go slower speed? Uh, slower. What is it? 20 beats per minute or something? No, that feels like 60 to me. I am mighty tired. Don't ask me to DJ your show. <laughs> Can DJ your show as long as you don't mind my entire repertoire being Nine Inch Nails, The Offspring, uh, System of a Down, Tenacious D, Godsmack, Sepultura, Mastodon, Ministry, uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Power Man 5000, and I think that's probably enough. <laughs> uh, you can not accept anymore, thank you. That'll help, maybe? What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna shut you off. I want this pumped out. Just get this whole thing out of here. Alright, now that we have some decent buffers about stuff, I feel a lot less conscientious about trying to micromanage things. Um, can this thing use medium oil? It can. I kind of feel it's a bad shake. Not enough fuel to refuel a vehicle. I doubt that very highly. Oh, whoops. Aha! My bad. Nah. <laughs> my bad. Uh, I got all snippy about it. Like, I don't freaking think so, my good sir. I highly doubt your respirosity. And it, oh. Uh, I mean, right. Okay. No, shut that off. That's for nerds. I want this thing emptied, yo. Is this empty? Awesome. Okay. Let's pause, because I've got some warning messages I have to deal with also. Cool. We have a very good amount of construction materials. Very happy about that. Um, hydrogen production is going to be amazing. I still haven't worked on power yet. Um, I've been trying to get all my oil figured out. This is fuel gas. What can I use fuel gas for? I can use it to fire some of this stuff, can't I? Uh, steam high, yeah. Okay, so fuel gas also probably needs a proper representation. Uh, yep, this thing. Uh, this thing. Oh, let's start with the little guy first. Very good. Um, I don't want you to burn heavy anymore. So we're going to do this again, believe it or not. Uh, I want to use the heavy for... We can refract it into something else, or crack it, or something, right? Heavy oil. Oh, that's coming up after hydrogen production. Right, right, right. Okay. So we're going to let this siphon down, and then I would like my own little thing for fuel gas. So, how you doing? Good. Uh, no, not upgrade. Nice try, though. Good effort. Good try. Not what I want. This goes to that. Thank you. 
And we have truck import on, truck export can be on as well, that's fine. Uh, this is going to be fuel gas, fuel gas, there we go. Cool. Coal is looking good. Good. I honestly don't mind having a ton of extra coal around, considering when we've crashed before, we've crashed hard. And coal was one of the things that I've just been flailing wildly to get working again. And it's not funny. It's It's been super not funny to crash like that. Uh, honestly, anyone who thinks that resources are limitless and stuff should play this game, like IRL. Like, you're eventually going to run out of stuff. And this is a good telltale sign that you should probably care for the environment you got, because there, no, there is no extra stuff at the end of the day. Uh, we'll scrap three of those. Four... We hit our maximum vehicle limit, queued and waiting. Yep, scrap. So that's five. I wouldn't mind to just have a little bit of a buffer, but getting more of these vehicles converted up to the good stuff is kind of what I want. Um, let's see here. Let's queue another five to replace those. Vehicle limit reached. Yep, that is true. Uh, nope, you're scrapping. You're scrapping. Queued and waiting. Nope, that's Latin for scrapping. And we're out of oil. That's a good sign. I actually... Okay, to be fair, we did add a ton more capacity in a ton more places. So, being low on oil is not really the true story. Um, how, like, let's take a gander. We had... What is the fluid storage to? 360 fluid units, liquid tonnages of whatever. Of medium. One of them. And then we multiplied that by 7 and then doubled it again. So that's a lot of medium oil we just came into. Diesel, a similar story. Multiplied that up by a ton. Fuel gas, also building up its own repertoire very nicely. So the reality of the situation is we are low on material. That's correct. However, we've also added a ton more capacity in other methods. So... Am I worried about it? Absolutely not. We can be on crude oil low for a while. This copper supply low, though, that has me a little more worried. Wow. Still work through all that? All that stuff. Uh, we have almost 100 unity. Are we still at, like, 90% recycling? Oh my god, that's amazing. What a good feeling that is. Uh, you couldn't see it, but I literally took my hands, raised them over my head in a ce celebratory manner. That is excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, we have glass problems, which is an interesting statement. Oh my god, we do. Um, are we full on glass? We're not full on glass, but that's okay. Um, I wish there was a way for me to do this a little more sane, but that's alright. Can you quick remove that? Yeah, the prompt, it doesn't like it. There we go. And if you could just quick deliver that, thanks. It should have the same recipe enabled, and it super duper does. Super duper does, but up, but up. Super duper does, but up, but up. What the hell was that? Banana phone? What was the melody for the. I think that was Banana phone. <laughs> ah, good stuff. When I'm tired, my imagination just loses all filters. It's just dumb sauce all the dumb time. I think that's funny. I think that's funny. Maybe people who watch my stuff just get inherently frustrated with how silly I am and not pro gamer mode I am, but I'm, I play games for fun, yo. Let's get a little more iron in there. I think if we better laid out how stuff should be working, we wouldn't have to rely nearly as much on trades. But again, it's our first go. It's our first shake. See what's what. Okay, how are we doing? Um, I would like to know when this is... Uh, nope, the other one. 50% full. Thank you. 
All right, now that we kind of worked through some of that cullet, that should work out pretty nice. Oh, can we upgrade this? Do it. Deliver it. Sell it. Uh, don't worry, buddy. Just hang on for two seconds. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, man. How do we make a bucket better? Make a bigger bucket? Sure. Yep. Bigums the bucket. <laughs> I could dig it. We haven't had any water issues in a while, which is good. Oh, this, uh, this water table's full up again. We could turn this down a bit. Turn one of these on. That'll relieve some of the effort from our trucks. We have animal feed for days. Dams. We have a lot of eggs. Still have a fair amount of meat. Fair amount of meat. Oh, there wasn't anything I could do with eggs, right? I couldn't turn it into compost or something? Right, dang. I was almost hoping, because then the excess eggs I'm getting would be neat if we could turn it into something else. Um, how's our ethanol? Full. Awesome. Wheat, good. Bread, good. Everything, good. The only thing we're still missing is fertilizer. And I would like proper fertilizer level 1. Soonish. And bio... Biomass can be turned into... Could be a steam high outlet. That's interesting. We're just turning it into compost. Compost turns into... Oh, the only thing it could be turned into is fertilizer. Okay, interesting. Uh, we better not be dumping compost. We're not. Okay, good. Uh, Garbage Mountain is looking... Big, <laughs> as always. Oh, how's our, uh, hold on. It's been a while since we checked Garbage Island. That's looking pretty good, I think. Oh, oops, hold on. There we go. I would love trains. I'm just going to check. Are trains a thing? Trains would be amazing. If I could dump all the garbage, like, in one area, and then shift it over... Vehicles, microchip, arc furnace. Oh, there is an arc furnace. Oh my god. It doesn't use coal. Probably uses power, which is exactly what I would want. Solar panel, consumer electronics, rocket assembly, ship weapons level, jabillion, whatever. Medical supplies. We're actually getting to almost the end-ish of uh, the research. Just to give you an idea how far we've come. Wait a ways. Wait a ways. And just like that, we've all caught up with all of our recycling. 90% is still freaking staggering. Nice. Uh, now, I know I said power production was going to be the time we were going to sit down and re redo stuff, and that is true. Um, I would actually like hydrogen to be done first because that'll clean up a lot of pollution. Uh, a lot of this air pollution that we're kicking out um, is just from a lot of this exhaust I'm just throwing away. This. This specifically is using water to make hydrogen and then... What is this going to free us up? Hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Hydrogen reformer. Fuel gas, steam high, a lot of hydrogen. Which I might do with where our, our fuel gas is. <gasps> Speaking of which, how much fuel gas we got? A lot of fuel gas. That's brilliant. Um, guess what? Nope. No more light. You're using fuel gas from now on. Uh, light. So here's here's kind of the walkthrough and how oil works. Is we could probably burn crude oil as a fuel source, but the more we refactor it, the better efficiency we get out of it, right? So this will give us four light oil. With that light oil, loyal, loyal. With this four light oil, we're passing it through this. We're getting four naphtha, which we're sending over to uh rubber. There we go. And six fuel gas. 
with that, we're not only going to have enough fuel gas to reburn this system, which is awesome, but we're also going to hopefully have enough fuel gas to do... Actually, we could probably use that to fuel a lot more things. Uh, consumption. Literally, we turn it into diesel, concrete, or... Uh, steam for boilers. To which I should be using this in our boiler system from now on. So let's see here. Just come over here. Cool. That's one thing fixed. Now I'd like to really expand my oil production of just that. Um, where else are we using light oil or whatever as a fuel source? Because we super shouldn't be. Uh, this is using what? Light oil? Ugh. That makes me hurt inside. Nope. Hello. Get, get that. Get, you almost got it. Thanks. And keep it going. And stop. What's in here? Naphtha? Uh, where's... Hold on. Where's this going? This was also powering our other systems. But this all can go away. This all can go away. Yep. Fuel gas is the way to play. Now, how other ways can I make fuel gas? Can I use naphtha to make fuel gas? I super duper can. Amazing. I can use naphtha to make diesel and fuel gas. Yeah, actually, these composting productions in the anaerobic digester, I'm a little more impressed about. Um, speaking of which, we should have some fuel gas sitting here as well, don't we? That can get emptied immediately. Compost is just used for fertilizer, so that's fine. Um, cool. Alright, fuel gas is the new bay. This is the good throughput, so let's copy you. Nope, height of two, please. And you can run right alongside all of this. And I want fuel gas to be fueling our tomorrow. Today. Da da da. Okay. Yep, shenanigans aside. Nope. Yep. Cool. Uh, this also, I want to fuel this. We're done with heavy. Right? You're all tapped out. You're not getting any love. Where's heavy? Heavy, 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 heavy. Right there. Yep. Cool. Nuke. Nuke. And then this guy... Hiya. We're going to come all the way back. That's fine. And that's fine. Yep, until we get the heavy cleared out. So fuel gas is a significantly more efficient method at energy generation than just burning light. Now that we actually have five seconds to build up this excess and the proper storage and the proper blah, 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 things are looking all right. Uh, okay, something's a little scuffed. There we go. Stuff is a little unscuffed. Okay, we are out of water, which is not really what I wanted. Um, let's see here. Shut off that. Because I want to make sure there's enough water for this process. Uh, you got the fuel gas? Uh, it takes a hot minute for it to propagate all the way through. And there we are. Oop! I can see it in the little pipes. There's a little glass opening or something. Okay, fuel gas. Amazing. Um, I think I have this on force export, don't I? Yep, no fuel gas should sit there. It doesn't do anything. 
Copper supply low. Copper supply empty. Holy craps. Uh, we still have some coming through. We we have some throughput. But, uh, yeah, it's time to fire this all back up. <laughs> I waited to the last possible moment. Yep, there we go. And you can unpause. And everyone can unpause. Poof. I was, I was honestly just waiting to the very last, hoping we could keep all that off, because that saves a lot of coal production for good reason. 100% water reserve. That's full. Uh, we're looking good. Okay. Um, cannot store all potato after harvest. Cannot store all vegetable after harvest. It's actually a good sign. We're actually getting enough food in. Oh my. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so much is going on. Um, let's take a pause here. I need to get up and stretch, drink some water, all that fun jazz. Uh, next up, I'd like to rework hydrogen. Uh, this is neat, but this is using a lot of power. And a lot of effort, I'm sure. It's a hydrogen reformer. 40 kilowatts uses fuel gas, which that's exactly what I've been working on trying to build this whole time, and steam to make hydrogen. Fuel gas, ironically, also is going to be used in the power generation of the boiler to make the high steam. So we can actually do that by where we have our stuff already. How much maintenance do you need? Electrolyzer? Two every 60. This needs six every 60. Gonna be some savings there too. Poof. Anyway, let's call this an episode. Thank y'all for joining me. Name's John Megacycle and hope to catch you next time for more Captain of Industry. Hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and Game With My Crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.